At the heart of your country lies picturesque Bergen. The great composer Edvard Grieg must not have had to go very far to find his muse. Bergen's rugged glacial scenery, green slopes, and charming medieval architecture are pure inspiration. A city among seven mountains, this Norwegian port traces its roots back to 1070, when it was built on the site of an old market. Shortly thereafter, Bergen established itself as a Hanseatic center for trade, with a lucrative fishing monopoly that lasted until 1789. And even after the Hans merchants moved on, the local Norwegians continued trading their much sought-after dried cod, an industry that remains strong even today. The Hanseatic legacy can best be appreciated along the old Brigan, now a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site. A row of timbered houses with characteristic pointed gables lined this picturesque wharf along the harbor. Bergen on our own, video clips and pictures captured during our walking tour of Bergen's city center. The historic former market building. Bronze statue of Norwegian Danish writer and historian Ludwig Holberg. around Torgal Meningen, the main square in Bergen. Now in view is the seven-meter-high monument to Norwegian sailors through the ages. Each side of the square-shaped monument represents a different age of sailing. The monument includes 12 statues and four reliefs, with three of the statues and one relief on each of the four sides. A plaque near the monument reads, The monument created by the sculpture Dyrva was unveiled on 7 June 1950 in honor of Norwegian seamen's achievements through the ages. Our next stop was at St. John's Evangelical Lutheran Church. The red brick church was built in a cruciform design between 1891 and 1894 in the Gothic Revival style. The architect was Hermann Bakker. The church seats about 1,250 people, making it the largest church in Bergen. It was consecrated on 15 March 1894.
around Old Bull Square, where we first encountered the Lion Poet sculpture by Hans Jacob Meyer. On the grounds right in front of the National Theatre is the monument honoring Henrik Ibsen, Norwegian playwright and theatre director. Opened in 1850, the National Theatre has roots dating back to its founding on the initiative of the Norwegian violinist Ol Bull. The theatre was created to develop Norwegian playwrights. Henrik Ibsen was one of the first writers in residences and art directors of the theatre. As we continued walking down Old Bull Pass, we got to one of the most well-known meeting places in Bergen, the Blue Stone. This work of art was created by Asbjorn Andersen. Ole Bull was a Norwegian virtuoso violinist and composer. According to Robert Schumann, he was on a level with Niccolo Paganini for the speed and clarity of his playing. Green Gutten, Crime Boy statue by Sophus Madsen. Edvard Grieg is widely considered one of the leading Romantic era composers, and his music is part of the standard classical repertoire worldwide. Now in view is Kode Art Museum of Bergen, one of Norway's biggest and best galleries. The Music Pavilion at the City Park. Christian Mikkelsen was a Norwegian shipping magnate and statesman. He was the first Prime Minister of Independent Norway from 1905 to 1907. Mikkelsen is most known for his central role in the dissolution of the union between Norway and Sweden in 1905. Mount Floyen and the viewing platform that affords great views of the city park. Panoramic view of the pretty little Lungegards Vanet Lake in the city park. The octagonal lake is a natural lake that was historically connected to a nearby bay via a short strait but the strait was filled in 1926. Dansk Pier Danish Girl by artist Gerhard Hanning. The Wagen is the bay in the center of the city of Bergen. It is the central harbor of the city center and is the center of the historical core of the city.
The city of Bergen originated on the east shore of the bay, and from there it expanded to the southern and western shores over a few centuries. Today, Bergen is the second largest city in the nation. We enjoyed lunch at the fish market. The Statsrod Lemkul is a training vessel based in Bergen and contracted out for various purposes, including serving as a school ship for the Royal Norwegian Navy. It was built in 1914 as a school training ship for the German Merchant Marine. View of the new church along the Wagen shoreline The Ulla submarine was assembled in Germany in the late 1980s and early 1990s. The Brigands Museum was established in 1976. Statue of Snorri Sturluson, Icelandic historian, poet, and politician. Sculpture in memory of boys who fell from 1939 to 1945. St. Mary's Church, completed around 1180, is the oldest remaining building in Bergen. Then it was time to board the Serenade of the Seas for the last leg of our cruise, from Bergen back to Copenhagen. The following pictures and video clips were captured from the vantage point of the 12th deck of the Serenade of the Seas as she sailed away from beautiful Bergen. <laughs> 